Hi there folks, Andrew at Chatfuel. Today we're going to be talking about the one-time notification. As you probably know, this is a new feature that Facebook has unveiled in light of its recent policy changes on Messenger, and the value proposition is that it allows you to re-engage subscribers who have fallen outside of the 24-hour window of interaction for free. Yes, so it's super valuable. Obviously, this is in contrast to sponsored messages, which are pay to play. You run those through Facebook Ads Manager, although clearly there are advantages to running sponsored messages. For example, you can reach a much broader range of your audience without the subscribers having to specifically opt in to a specific notification. Now, what are some of the things that you can do with the one time notification? Well, basically, let's say you're running an e commerce store on Messenger. Messenger, and there's a product that you're selling, such as a t-shirt that people are really interested in, but people are so interested in it, it's such a hot seller that it's actually currently out of stock. So a subscriber can then opt in to receive one of these one-time notifications so that when it's back in stock, you can reach out to them, that specific segment of interested buyers. And again, you can do that for free without having to run a sponsored message. So that's the value proposition here. And now let's take you through step-by-step -step the process to setting this up. Now, keep in mind at this point, this is currently just a beta, it's a workaround at this point. In the near future, specifically in early April, we will roll out a dedicated one-time notification plugin so that this process will be even easier and more seamless. But for the time being, let's take you through this process step by step. And we're going to start in the Facebook page settings of the page that your bot is connected to. So once we're there, we're going to go to this advanced messaging tab on the left side and scroll down to requested features. And here it's super simple to set up. You'll automatically be approved here. You just click one time notification, which I've already done, submit for review, click OK and you'll be good to go. If you don't enable this, it will not work. I made that mistake myself first, so keep that in mind. This is the first step. Now, once you have the one-time notification checked off there, we're gonna head into the chat field dashboard, and you'll want to set up what I've done here with the JSON API plugin. This is the temporary workaround plugin, if you will, before we fully roll this out. So here we have it set up on the welcome message. Obviously, you'll want to set this up on a different block, such as a specific product block, if your product is out of stock, or wherever you want to put this in the chat experience. But it likely won't be on the welcome message. I just have it set up here for the time being. Anyway, once we have the JSON API plugin created here, we're going to make sure the type is set to post. And for the URL, copy and paste what I have right here. I'll also make that available easily in the YouTube description below. Okay, now once we have that set up, we want to make this send option right here set to JSON only, not the full JSON profile or URL encoded. And then again, copy and paste the setup that I have here. And I'll make it more of a template in the description below so that it's not set specifically to my use case here. Okay, cool. So once we have this set up, we're really ready to go. And I'll explain briefly here what these three categories mean, title, topic, and block ID. And I'll delete them here for a second just to go step by step. Okay, so first off, title here. This is going to be user facing. The user will be able to see what this says. And this will make more sense in a second when I preview it on Messenger. But this will tell the user essentially what they're opting into. Keep in mind, of course, you can put a text card above or below this, but on the card itself that will appear when the user wants to subscribe for one of these future alerts, this is what you're going to show. So let's say again, I'm selling a t-shirt. I can put in something here like chat fuel T back in stock alert. Great. So again, the user will see this and it tells them what they're opting into. Next, we have topic here. And the topic, you can think of this like a tag or a user attribute. This, the user will not see. And more than anything, it's just a way for us to identify the segment of users that we are 
capturing here so that when we later go into the re-engage tab to send out a broadcast to these users when let's say the t-shirt is back in stock we know who we're sending it to so it's important here to be descriptive so that again you know what segment of users have opted into this notification and you're sending it to the right people so here i can just say back in stock chat fuel t or I can be more verbose if I want. Again, this is exclusively for the bot admins as a way to know what audience they are trying to reach. And then lastly here, we have block ID. This is optional, but basically this will allow you to input a block ID that you want users who opt into this notification to be redirected to. So as an example, I've created a block over here, just XXX as a placeholder. And to get the block ID, I simply copy the very last part of the URL here once I've selected that block and then I'll go in to paste it into that block ID field here and then again once the user clicks notify me in the one-time notification card that will appear in the messenger thread then it will redirect them to that block if we want to or if not i'll show you how you can delete that in just a second so just to fully demonstrate how this works i'll replace this random placeholder text here with something like thanks for opting in just to show you how this redirect will work and then let's test the bot to show you what the user will see Okay, here we go. So obviously, again, I could add text above or below. I can add other plugins on this block, but this is exclusively what just that one-time notification card will look like on its own. So you see here, get notified for the chat field T when it's back in stock. If I click notify me, it will then add me to that segment that I created, so to speak, that topic, and it will send me to that block as well. Great, so there we go, we're all set up. I'm gonna close this out, and cool. So the other thing I wanted to show you in closing here is the block ID. So if I wanted to, I could just remove this entirely if I didn't wanna redirect users to any block, and then I just delete this comma at the end as well. Can then preview that, and you'll see exactly the same thing, but if I click notify me, it won't redirect to any block there. So that is how the one-time notification card works in its current state. Again, this is just a beta. This is exclusively for capturing subscribers and building those segments of users, if you will, under the topic section here. It's just for that at its present state. However, in the future, once we roll out the front-facing side of this, in the re-engage tab, you will have the option to send a message and select a specific segment, a specific topic using Facebook's terminology to re-engage these users for whatever one-time notifications you would like to send. And then again, in early April, we will roll out the dedicated plugin so you don't have to just use the JSON API plugin. So all of that said, thanks for watching. Again, this is a super valuable feature for anyone in the e-commerce space or really anything to do with chatbots in general. If you want to reach subscribers outside of that 24 Four hour window for free, which is really, really cool and important. So again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video and happy botting.